Hey guys, what's up? It's Don, and it's been a few months since I've done a pocket knife video, so I thought I'd just go ahead and do one. I'm pretty excited to talk about this knife, which I recently acquired, so let's get right to it. Um, of course, if you like this type of material, I'd appreciate the like and subscribe as well. So, what would happen if my large Sebenza 21 got together <laughs> with my Strider SMF and I think the result would probably be looking a lot like what I'm going to be talking about today which is the Chavez Knives uh, 229 Ultramar the Redención. So um, let's go ahead and get these two guys out of the way and talk about the knife in front of us now. Okay so Real quick, a couple more size comparisons for you. So there is the Benchmade Adamas next to it. So yeah, the Adamas, this is the old school one, not made of crew wear. This has the D2 steel, um, definitely heavier also than the Ultramar 229. And one more, we'll look at it next to the Paramilitary 2. Get it kind of butt to butt there and tip to tip. Similar in size to the Para 2. Um, a little bit shorter than a Sebenza, smaller than a Strider SMF, and smaller than an Adamas. Okay. Um, so this is the box it came in if you've never seen it before. Okay. It says Ultramar there, which means overseas. This is manufactured by Riot Knives. Okay. And this, because it is a post-2021 version, does include the additional extra plain pocket clip in case you're not a big fan of the skull pocket clip. Okay, there it goes. So, let me get this out of the way now. Some stats for you guys readily available online but heck let's just do it right here also so we're looking at about eight and a quarter inches overall length maybe about four and a half inches a little over four and a half maybe for the handle blade length is going to be cutting edge is going to be a little over three and a half i think it's listed as about 3.6 inches on uh, various websites um I recently got this. I've had it only for about a week and carried it for straight now for a week, and I really like it. Uh, multiple knife websites, uh, dealers, um, shops online have uh, had gotten a drop in August. So, anyways, um, it's not a, it's not a brand new knife. This knife has been out for a few years now. In fact, the older versions I know. Uh, with this new option to have the plain clip, we've got the forehead screws on the skull, which some people were really turned off by the skull, I guess, so they included a plain clip. Uh, the consequence of that is to be able to have them swapped out easily. We get forehead screws, kind of like uh, the original 228. Um, it would be nice if these were recessed. That's my only little nitpick. But other than that, I think I'm going to actually keep that skull clip. I, I, I kind of like it. I really like it, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Um, this is, of course, the Tonto profile it does have a drop point variant as well it has a g10 and titanium variant um, there's also some micarta and titanium handles as well that i've seen i've seen black blade variants just depends on what website you go to i think there was one knife website um, that even had blue titanium drop points so um, me i just wanted the plain titanium but i really wanted that tanto uh, edge i really like the way this tanto is done and I like seeing all these compound grinds uh, and the belt uh, pattern on them. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so what do we got here? So we've got the Chavez symbol right there. And on this side, of course, it's M390 steel. We have the frame lock with the steel insert. And that steel insert also works as a over travel stop for the lock bar. Uh, this does run on ball bearings instead of just plain phosphor bronze. Uh, online, you may have read that the detent is strong. This is true. So 
After having it for one week, I can say it does break in. Uh, it was very stiff at first, and, <clears throat> excuse me, also it's just a matter of, I think, consciously not putting any pressure on that lock bar. Making sure your index finger's not on that lock bar or your middle finger's not pressing down on the clip when you're deploying the blade, and it deploys beautifully. Okay, but again, I've had it for a week and been playing with it, gotten a little bit of sore thumbs with it, but I can easily fingernail flick it. Action is awesome. I can, oops, didn't quite get it there. I can almost, urgh, there we go. I can get it with the meat of my thumb when I'm actually doing it right <laughs> and not putting pressure on that lock bar. And I'm still working on, um, oh, hey, got it first try. Middle finger flicking this thing. So you can do all those things. Again, for me, the easiest is to just do use my thumbnail, but I can use the meat of my thumb and let's see if I can do it twice. Hey, there we go. Middle finger flicking it um, is becoming easier and easier. Uh, jimping. So like I said, it's kind of like if, if my, my Chris Reeve knife and my Strider got together, this jimping, it really reminds me of, let me bring the Strider back, the jimping on the Strider, but the jimping on the Strider is a little bit softer. It's a little bit more rounded. Okay. This is like a more aggressive version of the Strider jimping. Um, it doesn't hurt, but if you use it, I could see if you're holding it in like a saber grip for an extended period of time, this could get uncomfortable for your thumb, but it's not going, it's not, your thumb's not going anywhere at least. Uh, this is, I wouldn't call that a true finger choiled. Uh, it's not a true forward choil, in my opinion, for your index finger. If you got small to medium sized hands like I do, okay, so I can fit my finger in it like that, but that's pushing it. Um, if I go forward to this, my, my finger's gonna get cut. So uh, that's probably just a sharpening choil. So I'm kind of like in the camp of, you know, if you're gonna give me a forward choil, give me a good forward choil. Um, otherwise, give me a little more blade length. Uh, this, I mean, it looks great on the blade, but I, th I would be happy to have like maybe an eighth of an inch more blade in there and still keep it pretty decent sharpening choil um you know rather than trying to like pass this off maybe as a finger choil or forward choil so but otherwise it looks great aesthetically i like the way it looks on the blade cuts like a dream um this thing is probably out of the box anyways the sharpest knife i've gotten out of a box <clears throat> the only thing that uh, i've had that is Probably close or maybe just as sharp. I had, uh, or I have, a Benchmade um, Crooked River custom job that I have uh, in 20 CV. That was razor sharp out of the box, probably as sharp as this. And my Strider SMF um, is actually the uh, this uh, the one that I just showed you with CTS XHP came very very sharp as well. Um, so this knife, uh, the clip, like I said, a, the skull or the plain clip aside is very, um, I guess, tight. Uh, um, when you put it in your pocket, it, it, it does its job. The knife is not going to come out of your pocket. I will say that. Is it going to tear your pants up? Possibly. Okay. Uh, it definitely grips that pocket. The titanium is smooth, so it's not going to like shred your pants, but... Um, you know, the clip does what it's supposed to do. Uh, very strong clip. Sometimes hard to pull out of that pocket. Um, this knife has been out for a few years, uh, and I just hadn't had a chance to get one until recently. So pretty excited about it. Excellent quality. You cannot deny the quality, uh, that Riot Knives puts out, uh, with their stuff. I mean, this is just, this is excellent, excellent stuff. So, uh, that's about all I have. Um, hopefully you guys can snag one of these. I've still seen it around on some websites, uh, and good luck to you. If you want one, get one. They're pretty awesome. Have a good day. Later, guys.